all of you, uh, hey, uh, hey guys, it's me, Panda, otherwise known as the Grand Panda, and Normal has never seen anything like this. The Armada is eating the island. Aye, and when they're finished here, they'll do the same to every island in Valencia. After Valencia, they'll do this to the whole spiral. Never mind that. Let's find this Lorenzo fellow. Who goes in there? Oh, you are no clock work. Thank goodness you are come. The Armada has destroyed my ship and I am trapped here. They are destroying the island. Centuries of art and architecture swept away. It is too terrible to contemplate. You will seek the tomb of a Marco Polio? It should still survive. The fiends have not yet destroyed the chapel. There, that's it. Good luck with there. your search. I hope you find what you seek. Okay. Dang, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful around here. Scarlet, use your sneaking techniques! <sighs> you almost. We're gonna have to sneak back around. Maybe Lorenzo knows another way. Okay. I'm gonna have to mark the location here. Okay, there we go. Your way is blocked. I am no surprise. The Armada is nefarious indeed. Ah, there is another way. The old catacombs are under most of the village. And they all lead to the chapel. Look for a tunnel entrance. Okay. I can't believe uh, we're we're doing some really good sneaking. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is that. Here it is, Captain. The tomb of Marco Poya. Are we too late? Blue windstone. We take for ship. Blue windstone. There's no map piece, Captain. We are beaten, but every defeat is an opportunity. Who is down here? Oh, Don't hello. Don't bother trying to hide. I can hear your heartbeat. Who are you? No kinsman of mine, I'm sure. A human? How marvelous. How in the spiral did you get from here? I know why you're here and what you're looking for. Too late. We took oh, you have two sides. Oyo's map weeks ago. Your pathetic efforts are in vain. Wait, I know you. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Skull Island, aren't you? Yes, the Armada knows all about you, pirate. Surrender the piece of Poyo's map you have, and I will let you live. You know, I'm tempted to let you go. You're so resourceful. You'd be quite a thorn in the side of Deacon, Bishop, or Cain himself. Then again, Captains, attack! Fight Cadre! Commence staggered assault. Black Cadre, incapacitate the intruders. Oh dear. Farewell, pirate. I am sure we shall meet again. 
There's too many of them. Aim for the officers. The ones called service, or we're doomed. I think we did it. Fiend is gone. We best get out of here too. I've had enough of Valencia. Let's go back to Captain Steed. Alrighty. No, with that um. Um, what's that windstone for that we got there? It's this way. It's this way. just don't get it like who was that guy with the two-faced thing like kind of looks like um that symbol for comedy and tragedy
Plus, there were no ship vendors here whatsoever. I don't think they sell Valencia ships. So, a lot of luck on that. All I have now is a Monquista ship. Wait, is that a treasure chest on? Okay, I saw a chest on here. Okay, there it is. Your search has been in vain. I can see it in your eyes. Anyone who will vie with the Armada must become accustomed to defeat. There may be one last hope. And that is... I once knew a unicorn, Varro by name. He revered Marco Pollo and was his finest student. Varro sat beside Marco Pollo's deathbed. He alone heard the explorer's last words. If anyone might know more about the map, Varro does. Varro made his way to Monquista and joined some holy order. Good luck. Didn't we see a unicorn at St. Bonobo's Abbey? Oh, let's travel to back to Monquista. Back to Monquista. To tell you this, Marco Pollo was the keeper of a terrible secret. He burdened me with it in the hour of his death. Pollo spoke of El Dorado. He said no one must ever go back there. Powers asleep in El Dorado that could destroy the spiral if they awaken. He spoke of his map, whispering that Christopher Clark, his navigator, kept it safe in Cool Ranch, the land of Pollo's birth. Cool Ranch? It's a long way, but we can get there from Skull Island. Let's head on for Cool Ranch then. Huh, I'm not pretty sure if, um,. If Cool Ranch is gonna be, um, it's gonna be, uh, well, whatever. Cool Ranch should be, um, nice and dandy. They should probably know where the, some, that Christopher Clark guy. The, whoa. I think that's the storm gate. Well, we've seen it like a few times, like heading on to Monkey Stand, like other places. I guess here we go. Wait a minute, what's that world right there? That little one I'm flying around. I really don't know which. I have no idea what world that one is. I see Valencia right there. Wait, what's that one? What's that one? Is that Polaris? Is that Polaris? I see Polaris flying around. Uh, whatever. Next stop, uh, Cool Ranch. This place is, um... Um, hello? There's a... There's a carriage if they want to take me, like, anywhere else. 
Well, howdy, stranger. Howdy. Looking for Clark, you say? Yeah. I say I know him. I'm new here myself. Just transferred in from Tumbleweed. Head on over to the Silver Spur Saloon at the end of Main Street. Talk to Miss Jane. She'll steer you right. Okay. Nice place. Kind of reminds me of Fallout. <laughs> no, really. It reminds me of Fallout. <laughs> this place looks nice already. I'm probably guessing once I get into that saloon, Prospector Seek is going to be there. I'm already for certain. You're looking for Christopher Clark? Well, yeah. I hope you brought a shovel. He's dead and buried, you see. What? Don't fret. Oh, Mr. Clark has a son, Merriwell, who still lives right here in Cooper's Roost. Maybe he can help you. Head outside, turn left at the blacksmith's, then cross the stone bridge to the bluff. That's where the old Clark place is. Can't miss it. Alrighty. Wait, is... No, I don't think I see him anywhere. I don't see Prosper to see anywhere. <laughs> The road is always longer than you think. Clark is not home. Wait, there's a note. What's it say? Not at home. Please direct all inquiries to Dr. Elmore Coop, Cooper's Roost. Meriwether Clark. We passed the Dr. Coop's office back on Main Street. Let's get to it. looking for Merriweather. Isn't he back yet? Um, no. I've known Merriweather his whole life. He's a dear boy, perhaps it minded. The lad's off taking weather readings and whatnot. If I had to guess, I'd say he's visiting his professor friend. Ah, oh, what's his name? Murgatroyd, that's him. Down in Arroyo Grande. What? He should have been back Where? By now. I hope he hasn't gotten into any trouble. If you could find him and tell him to come home, I'd be much obliged. Hmm. Well, I guess we uh, went on to a new world, I guess. I'm gonna take a break from recording. Um, I'll be right back, guys. So right now, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, as always, if you did enjoy this episode, then be sure to high-five the like button. I will see all of you party animals in the next video.